Welcome to BBZ, where we share important insights into your baby's development. Today, we're talking about a condition that affects thousands of newborns each year. Developmental dysplasia of the hip, commonly known as DDH, a common condition that affects baby girls. What is DDH? DDH is a condition where the hip joint fails to develop properly, leading to instability and dislocation. It is more common in baby girls than boys and can occur in one or both hips. Symptoms of DDH DDH can be difficult to detect, but some signs to look out for include uneven skin folds on the thighs or buttocks, limited range of motion in the affected hip, clicking or popping sounds when moving the hip, walking with a limp or waddling, diagnosis of DDH. DDH can be diagnosed through a physical exam by a healthcare provider. An ultrasound or x-ray may also be used to confirm the diagnosis. DDH is a condition where the hip joint of a newborn isn't properly formed. This leads to the hip being either dislocated or prone to dislocation. Though DDH can affect all babies, it's more common in girls, particularly firstborn daughters. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint. In a healthy hip, the ball at the top of the thigh bone fits perfectly into the socket of the pelvis. In DDH, the socket is too shallow and the ball may be loose, leading to instability. Early detection of DDH is crucial. Pediatricians routinely check for signs of DDH in newborns during their first few months of life. They'll gently move your baby's legs to see if the hip joint moves smoothly or if there's any dislocation. DDH can lead to potential issues with walking and mobility as your baby grows. It's essential to catch it early to prevent complications later in life, such as limping, hip pain, or even arthritis. Treatment of DDH There are several treatment options for DDH, depending on the severity of the condition and the age of the baby. For newborns, a soft brace called a pavlik harness is often used. This harness keeps the baby's hips in the correct position, allowing the joint to develop properly. The treatment for DDH depends on the severity of the condition and the age of the baby. In mild cases, the hip may be able to naturally correct itself with the use of a harness or brace that holds the hip in the correct position. The Pavlik harness is most effective when used in the first six months of life. It's a non-invasive treatment that allows the hip joint to stabilize naturally. If DDH is detected later, other treatment options may be necessary. For babies older than six months, or if the Pavlik harness isn't effective, doctors may recommend a closed reduction. This is a procedure where the hip is gently guided back into place, followed by a cast to keep it stable. In more severe cases, Surgery may be necessary to reposition the hip joint and ensure proper development. It is important to note that early detection and treatment of DDH is crucial in preventing long-term complications such as arthritis and chronic pain. In severe cases or if DDH is detected too late, surgery may be required to correct the hip joint. However, with early detection and appropriate treatment, most children with DDH grow up to lead normal, active lives. Thanks to advancements in medical care, the outlook for children with DDH is very positive. Regular checkups, early intervention, and proper treatment can ensure your child's hips develop correctly, leading to a future of healthy movement. As a parent, it's natural to be concerned, but remember, you're not alone. Your health care provider is there to guide you through every step, from diagnosis to treatment. Early detection is key so don't hesitate to ask your doctor about DDH during your baby's checkups. If you suspect that your baby girl may have DDH, please don't hesitate to speak with your health care provider. Remember, early detection and treatment can make all the difference in ensuring your little one's future health and well-being. Thank you for tuning in to BBZ Channel, where we are committed to providing valuable information for parents and caregivers. At BBZ, we're here to support you on your parenting journey. Stay informed, stay proactive, and remember your baby's health and happiness are our top priority.
follow us for more tips and information on your baby's development. Thank you for watching. Together, we can ensure every baby gets the best start in life.